The King Fahd International Stadium shined in purple waves on Friday evening as 30,000 fans surged to Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, for a BTS World Tour concert. The K-pop superstar threw its last overseas concert of the 14-month-long Love Yourself, Speak Yourself World Tour at 7.30 p.m. BTS Riyadh concert marks the Middle Eastern Kingdom's first-ever stadium concert by a non-Arabic group. Until only two years ago in Saudi Arabia, women were forbidden from dancing in public places. Most female fans dress themselves in black abaya and cover their faces with niqab, hijab or chador. These local women, however, never shied away from singing after their favorite star's music video projected on the giant screen prior to the main show. The local fans responded to BTS songs in Korean with great precision in timing and pronunciation. The concert kicked off when a giant leopard figurine slowly rose under the spotlight. The entire event ran about 2 hours and 40 minutes, uniting South Korean artists and the Islamic nation through 24 songs and mini-talk sessions. Starting off with Dionysus, the seven members of BTS blasted the stage with its billboard hits, including Boy With Love, Idol, and Fake Love. BTS fans sang along, waving the army bombs or the purple torch sticks of BTS official fan club ARMY. In performing Euphoria, Jonggu flew over the stadium on a lift. At times, BTS members asked the fans to light up their mobile phones or make up and down waves from their seats. Many men dressed in white traditional Arabic costume also seized attention by taking pictures and selfies to archive this memorable event. Fans cheered and screamed at Jin's hand kiss, V's smile, and every gesture by Jimin. Water cannon and fireworks hit up the already broiling stadium. In the encore stage time, BTS members and the audience sang birthday song in Arabic for Jimin, who turned 24 the next day. Thanks to global popularity of BTS, the Riyadh concert drew numerous local media outlets such as Al Riyadh, Al Jazeera, and Al Arabia. After the concert, BTS fans shared a touching moment with other audience from all over the Middle Eastern region, missing their friends who couldn't make it to the Riyadh concert. <laughs> I'm Oh, <laughs> <laughs>